a couple of pops. Actually, I no, won't bother about that because uh, we're going to get on with this because it's going to be a bit too long a video anyway. It would bore the death out of anyone. Let's start at the front and work our way to the back. So from the balcony, um, simple going. I'm thinking I'm just going to I'm going to take these doors off, strip the paint back, and just repaint them. I, I can I can do that here. I could even actually take them back. They will obviously need to be changed. Not a big deal. Um, yeah, easy. The hardware fittings changed. Not a big deal. That could be cleaned up. Don't need any more of those. It just needs a paint job. Basically straightforward here. Like yeah, beautiful doors, everything. I'll just paint it up. We just replace these little bits of hardware, and that's about it. And then she's good to go. Front balcony because you've got the. You know that there's your view and everything so this is like your more sort of place you would use a balcony like to hang out and so i'm thinking i'm going to tile this make it beautiful with, with a, a tile with a nice uh, border around the edge and then like a nice crisscross pattern in the middle of two different tones so it looks really nice stylish and the, and better than anybody else's because nobody's got that stuff like they got he's painted his i don't know what they've done up there but make it look snazz anyway I'll paint the front, uh, all this, rub this back, make it look nice, and we'll make it look brand new, repaint it again. But I'm thinking that by rights, we would have to go the same colour. I think you would devalue the place if you try and change it, like make it black or something like that, because everybody else is the same. From the front park, looking back at the building, you might find that the department might, uh, you know, that the, the strata company would have a problem if you decide to paint that pink. They might say, nah, you can't do that. It makes the building look tacky, it makes it look stupid. So it's got to be the same, so that, that, that rules that out. I'm hoping that we, if we can contact the, uh, the, the Strata company, and they should have on file somewhere in, the, in their archives, they should have it, what the, uh, the brand and the name of that colour is. I'm sure they should have it if they dug deep. You've got the right to find out, so you want to paint it. What colour is that? Is it Torberman's, Dulux, blah, blah, blah. So we'll paint, repaint that too, and we're going to tile that look freaking sick, you know, because the height here to the to the park, this apartment has you know a good vantage point that it's not too high up, but uh, uh, you can you can see everything, and that tree uh, gives you the privacy sort of back the other way. It's a good place. It's a good location. All right, uh, windows. Definitely going to lose these stupid Venetian blind things. They're just like they're for like cheap. Forget it. Like 1980s. Forget it. We're going to go the uh, nice snazzy uh, roller down ones, straight up, and you know, you know, nice pull tight ones. They look really cool. Same as what is in my brother's house. On my brother's video, I think we talked about this because especially with the style of window you've got, you've got the wind out ones. It comes out out like that. They don't open like barn doors or nothing. So really, uh, rightfully, you do want that roller style because if you want a bit of air to come through, privacy, you can just lift it up a little bit, and you've got access to that, and the air can come through, and it's not blowing crap everywhere, blowing it around and just denting up your wall, because this is what happens with the Venetian blind ones, is it just bashes the crap out of the wall, and that makes it look all tacky. So then anyway, you now the rest of that's just clean that up, paint job in there, and I'll calculate exactly how many square meters of wall you've got in the house, uh, when I measure it up properly, once we get the rest of this junk out of here, I'll measure it all up and get the precise amounts, we know exactly how much dollars we would need to paint it. I can give you a precise figure. Okay, skirting, oh, I can definitely get it, go on, make it feel better, like, 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 like even more open, you know, nice and squarish at the corner, just lose all that skirting, get rid of it, don't need it. All these floorboards, I'm going to do the best to try and see if I can get them up and pack them so that we could resell them, possibly, don't know, uh, cross that bridge when we get to it, see if it's salvageable, because you've got three packets that are already brand new, unopened. So um, to better add that to it, you know, we could get some money back the other way, we can buy some paint with or something else. Now these tiles are disgusting. Like a, a floor simple, same tile, you have that nice sort of like a bright, something, there's a nice tile, like 600 by 600 tiles all through the house, everywhere. Just like right through, except for the bathrooms, it'll change. It's kind of that side, but it's everywhere. And if people want carpet, you get yourself a rug. And there's rugs are applicable, you have any size you want, shape, colour, you want to beat it, you can take it outside, beat it up, move in, move out. Rugs are handy for that. So like, but just give it all tile all the way through and it just keeps it bright, very, very bright and clean and neat. When it comes to the bathroom reno, obviously this one has got the one with the, with the busted toilet. So I'll start with this one, duh, and uh, get this sorted out. This one's not easy even though you've got it looks disgusting, it looks like baby poo or something. But we're gonna tile it to the ceiling. It'll look fantastic. Let's see if we can get a brighter light than this. That's not very good, that one. Make that look nice, because I mean, <laughs> see if we can get, uh, this, this needs a good clean out. Get a good tidy out. The bench top, I'm thinking, obviously, 
try and hang on to this. Obviously, I could change that tap fitting. That's easy enough to swap that over. But if we hang on to this, at least uh, that gives us a colour to go with. So we've got like more the, a tile is quite easy to find a tile that's going to be sort of matching style to that. And then uh, just just chip away everything around it. Cabinetry is not too bad. I should be able to just clean that up. I don't, you know, just give it. Just I think it is a good clean. And obviously new handles. That's nothing. That's cheap as chip shit. Just get some new chrome looking things and let's tidy that up. That would probably be okay. But they are creamy colour, so maybe we could change the door panel fronts. Like just leave the, the rest of the cabinetry. Just leave it alone. And to just get some uh, new doors made up. That wouldn't be expensive actually. Just three doors the same. That'd be cheap as chips. See how that goes. But anyway, just tile it to the ceiling. I mean, in an in enclosed bathroom like this. Because you've got no window and that's the only air extraction that you've got, you're crazy to have paint. It's just stupid. Take it, we'll take it right to the ceiling nice and smooth. So the tiles actually like hit flush there so they go smooth off the face, straight around to the corners. There's no gap at all. It's just nice and neat. And, uh, and all the moisture and everything, it's only the ceiling that cops it. We'll get rid of that. It's like, this is the, uh, what's called a Lestello, and not only as Italian as a decorative tile. What we can do is, like, just I think, a cost effectiveness. You could use like 300 by 600 uh, nice glossy white tiles or something like that, and then find a, a, a tile that looks like this, not too hard to do, and I'll just create my own. I can cut it into strips, and then I can create my own Lestello that goes, goes all the way around the room just to make it look sort of fancy pantsy. And, and sort of like, you know, just not boring, no break it out the bottom. Okay, hang on to that mirror, that's a great mirror. There's, I don't know what's wrong with this guy, you know, that's not a very good view. But uh, I'll just take that off and then just put a tile all behind it and then just put the mirror back on again. And uh, I, I could actually have it a little bit higher. I think just, that's just, they've just done it to the height of the tile. We could get away with actually having them. Because the tile's going to the ceiling anyway, we can choose exactly where we want that to finish. They've just sort of done it so it looks flush to that, but we could have that higher if we wanted to. There's nothing stopping us from doing that. And having a bit more splash so you got like more, more tile space than just here. Because when you're standing here, like you know, you don't really want to see a reflection of the sink. So the tile, like you know, but being like, like to there. So it's like in your reflections, you're standing here, you don't want to see the sink, you want to see yourself. So you can get away with like a bit like say 300. Might look a bit better and it gives you more like sort of splash for cleaning sort of thing rather than getting muck on the, on the, on the mirror you know going on too much and um, what about the bath uh i'm just trying to clean that up i think i can replace it if i can get in underneath but it means a heck of a lot more work and time lost and everything if we can probably just try and hang on to this bath and i'll give it a hell of a clean obviously change that spout because that's just stupid it just looks like a floppy dick and, and maybe yeah i can clean that up and See what we do here. Uh, that's not too bad. What we can do, cost effective, we want brand new, is you can you can just buy the end section. Like where you screw that, you got the hose here already, and then and you get these in here, you get a real nice fancy one. You don't have to change really anything else. Just get a brand new head, that's it. In fact, even the hose isn't too bad. But um, oh, if you want to put brand new, they're, they're not that expensive. That's all, so we can get that, all, all this get at a uh, trade price. He'll, Tony will just buy a bulk lot when he does a bunch of houses. And I said, look, mate, just throw one in the box, a couple in the box for me, and I'll just get them off him. I think leave that there for. Take all that stuff. All right, and then same with toilets. Brand new toilet, take that out. Don't know whether it breaks or not, we'll just get rid of it. You go brand new, they're cheapest chips, like 99 bucks, 130 bucks for a real fancy one. I've even bought one that was $79, and like, like for the tall pan and the cistern and everything. Real basic, but jigs, it did the trick. Better than not having one. So again, uh, do a toilet all the way to the top. This here, this paint job again, paint, paint. I don't think I messed around too much with that. I can get a brand new pole for that. It looks a bit old and worn and scratched. They're a dime a dozen. I've actually already got this in the kit, probably an off cut from one of Tony's jobs. So that you won't even get charged for that. I'll just put, a, just put a new one in. So there's no scratches on it, nice and, nice and shiny. All these fittings, we'll just change them. We'll get the set for the whole thing all matching, just a bit more modern looking, because that just, that's just disgusting. And yeah, just old and chip. Uh, I'll do about that, but yeah, I think give it a bit of a... I'll think of something here for this, actually. We might be able to make something more decorative that could, like, just simply cover over that. That you open first and then open that again, so you just don't see it when you walk in the room. Leave that with me. I'll have a think about that one. Um, what was I going to add? The back thing here. Uh, it, it depends on... Like, I want to tile this one as well, because it would look sick. We could do it. But this is the problem, and whilst he's not sure whether they even work, 
uh, what the situation is. I'm sure, hoping that they are. I've just got to get the uh, remote controls for them and, and um, give them a test run. But either way, I can just respray that. You can get like cardboard, slip it down the back of it, get it, you know, give it a rub down a spray can and just bring it back up, just make it look neat, even with those brackets. I could probably get some nicer ones than that and I could just change them one at a time. You just unbolt it and you just swap it with, I just take it out and spray paint it, make it look nice, make it sort of blend into the, maybe even brown, so we'll try and like pick a color like this and just have it paint it so it disappears. Even that, I'll paint that too. So it blends it with this. You want to, you don't want to see this stuff. It looks ugly, you know. You want it to sort of blend in and disappear. So go brown, same with that. Light fitting, I think again, it matches the, every single other unit in the building if you change that. You know, it suddenly would stick out on, it might be just better just, just to clean it. I'll just give it, it's a bit faded there, I can spray paint it, just clean it up. And maybe put a better globe in it, but I think just keep it the same so it matches the right rest so it doesn't devalue anything because you want the most dollar, not the least. But if I can get that up, if I, if I am going to, um, let me bring this down. I need to be able to lift that up. I think the rigid part, I might be able to do it and raise that up as I, I want to try and tile underneath it. Um, but I'll leave this till last. <laughs> if in the end, if it just turns out, no, nah, we'll just paint the floor and not tile this one. But we'll see how we go. If we're going for time, I'll leave the balcony idea out here till last. But it would look classically hot, you know, with the, the tiles that would bring it up higher so there wouldn't be such a lip there. The, see where the, the lip starts, the tile could be flush to the top of that with a big seal on the end. Where does the water go when it rains? Does it just trickle off the ends, does it? There's no guttering or anything, is there? And there's no um, downpipe, or the, you know, so I'd, I'd have to just basically taper the tiles to make it start with the top with the flush of that. It's, so it comes out with the, with a white bit of metal starts, and it's a bit of pancake flat off there. And, it would, and then if I made that thinner at that end, it would just gently taper down, so the water runs away from the house. So after a rain's been pounding in, it should dry really quickly because the water runs off. You don't you keep it too flat, you end up with puddles of water and it takes forever to dry and you come out and you end up slipping on it. So it'd be better if you had to have it on actually, like, a, like a good taper. And that would be excellent. That's easy fix, I can put some mud into that. I've got some the special Celastic in there, tidies that up, no worries at all. Probably just paint that pipe as well. That just looks tacky. I wonder if we can make it go across the top. No, you can't, it's gotta be at that height, doesn't it? No, it's a bummer. And again, just needs a clean up. That's all we can do it for that door. I think it's pretty straightforward. Just give it a clean up, make sure the rollers are good. If not, just, just, you know, the rollers just a few bucks, replace the rollers, not so they slide nice and smooth. And uh, that'll be the I'll be the tie that up. Uh, okay, a bit stiff. There's the thought. As next topic, doors. What I will do is I can take off every single one of the doors in the whole place and obviously mark out where they, they go, it's pretty straightforward. And then take them all back to my place and I'll clean them up and I've got a spray gun and then give them all a brand new coat of paint just with a spray gun. I can do it out in my backyard on the trusses rather than do it here. And then I just bring back the finished doors and just remount them, piece of cake. And in the meantime, I can actually leave the doors off because they can just be put on last. And while I'm renovating, I don't need the doors there. So I'll probably do that soon, actually take them off, get them out and then deal with that. Most of the door handles are right, but they've got different ones here. What's the fashion at the moment, what Tony can get a lot of, are the toggle type doors instead. And we get ones obviously each door, that'll have like a, a separate key lock so they can have, if it rents it out, one person this one, this person that one, make sure they're different keys so they can rent out the two rooms if you know people sort of you know, uh, living together, like students and that type of stuff. The colour of the paint, I think we discussed that one. I reckon that really is the goer. Even War agrees with it. That, that uh, the, I think it's called Neutral White Dulux. It's called Neutral White. And then it's, I think it's like Vivid White for the ceilings. But your ceilings are pretty good. You've got a few little marks there. Just needs a bit of a clean. Generally, overall, your ceilings are great. Usually, it's a top-down approach. You start at the top and you work your way down. This is why like painting comes first. So get rid of the floor and then you paint next. But you do the ceilings first. But this is, they're pretty freaking good. So that saves a lot of time. It means you just get straight into painting the walls. And then once we take the floors out, tiles get done last. Kitchen, what I was thinking. Okay, obviously splash back, no worries. I'll just retile that, that's no big deal. The bench top, yeah, she's a bit mucky. I'm hoping to salvage it. I don't know how badly it's, um, if I can get that out, I'm hoping to. 
I hope you two can get, get enough stuff. It'll be a bit of a challenge. Maybe a YouTube channel on that. Naturally, you got to change it. New, new, new. Tony can get this stuff as well because when he sells his houses, he buys this stuff in bulk. He'll like, buy half a dozen ovens and they'll go into each one of the units. I can just say, mate, get me another set. Standard size, standard size, standard size. And electrics and just go brand new on that one. That's a, a bit of a no-brainer. It's like, don't even try and clean that. Forget it. People will walk straight out the door if they saw that. Uh, kitchen sink. Uh, mate, they are not that expensive, but we'll see if I can clean it up. But for what it's worth, I'll definitely a new tap. That's it's a no-brainer. I don't know if I really like that shape, but it's already cut into the bench. It has to have that pattern. But, uh, but if it, it cleans up all right, maybe just hang on to that sink if we can. And uh, it might, might be a pretty big, bigger deal. Okay, uh, fridge section. I'm thinking a lot of the times these days, people like those new open door, the double door type fridges. They're really taking off as like popular with because they've got the, the drink you know thing in the front you know all that shit okay that's really not quite wide enough i think redesign this so that uh get, lose that cabinet not only lose it sorry but uh make it narrower i'll find out what the average sizes is of most of those fridges and allow that space and actually it looks it sticks out too much set it back see how it goes out further than the rest of the kitchen and, and it's, it's too deep for carrying stuff it's, it it sticks out too much like, I don't know what the hell they'll think of that. Obviously, they've got all the storage space, but you, you just go, like, that's my full arm length of the back of the cupboard. You just lose shit back there. Nobody wants a cupboard like that in this size. I reckon, like, lose like a good four inches off that so that you're coming out of the hallway, so you're coming around the corner to the kitchen. You know, it ends here, you know, not fucking way over here. That's just, that's ridiculous. So they're just too obtrusive and we can allow it in a little bit more that way and then instead across the top have that have like closable door cupboard for the, to make up for the space that you think you've lost where you gain it above the fridge. You know, have, have, rather than have that open, just have it, have it all, all look the same. Now what I mean by all that is like this, this, this it's fucked. All this cabinetry and stuff, even the, the, all that shit, she's fucked. It's absolutely gone mate, she's a, she's a goner. You're not going to, this looks crap. But what I can do for you is because what, what we used to do is about 20 bucks a sheet on the CNC. They just CNC it out exactly what you've got because the sizes are already there. It's a piece of cake for them. They're just a straight duplicate of what already exists. And they just etch it out in the CNC and they put it in a flat pack and they give it to me. And I completely just reassemble it again and you save a shitload of money because they don't build the cabinetry, they don't assemble it, they don't have to cart it out here and install it. No, CNC just cuts out the bits, he just sticks it on a pallet and go, there you go. You know, so you get it real cheap. And I'll hunt around, I know, I know a few people in the game still that we can... Uh, Get that uh, pretty cost effective and then just then just pick your cupboard doors that like will make that suit uh maybe i don't know we'll, we'll work that out probably just go white or i suppose maybe something that complements that or um a color that complements the floor i was thinking like i said the tiles <laughs> something bright is the trouble with this place is that it lacks light or something chrome you've got sunset at the moment but uh, you know what I mean. You've only got windows at that end, and of course, if you've got people living their private lives, those cupboard doors, those sort of bedroom doors, they'll be closed. So it's completely relying on just that natural light. And in the afternoons, of course, the sun's on the other side. It's got nothing. But long story short, it's flipping dark. So really reflective, uh, you know, bright tiles all throughout will really brighten it up. Light fittings, I really recommend we go like down, down lights and just have nothing sticking out. If I can uh, do that, I'm not sure we're going to spaces behind it, but fingers crossed there's a way we can do it. I'd rather have nothing protruding because the, the ceilings are already low. The unit does have that feeling of like pressure down on your head because it's, it's, it's not a big like big open mansion like they have big high high ceilings and it gives that atmosphere. But this one's got that kind of a, yeah, it's low down. So by not having anything sticking out from the ceiling, it sort of widens it up for you in, in that feeling. There's nothing, nothing dangling down. And if, like, if people want to put a little chandelier thing above the dining table, that's their business later. You just keep it simple and linear and just put down lights in there. And you know where I'm going with that one. That's if we can do it. Uh, I know in the bathroom we can do it, but uh, ceiling space, I still have to work on that. Because I'm thinking, because these look tacky as crap. I mean, look at look like 1960s shit. We've got to have like four down lights, you know, one, two, three, four. And fingers crossed I can run the cabling to each corner and then just um, tap it off. And run it four down, and then I just patch that up in the middle uh, would be a better way to go. If it's not possible, what type of a light fitting you'd want in the end, uh, Jan, you could probably figure that out. It's your place. You might have some artistic ideas. You could go those ones that got the bar, 
I run across and have the, like, the four lights that you can point in different directions around the room, something like that, and just, just get one that doesn't stick out too far. Just to, but uh, I'll find out. I'll find out whether these things work. Oh, there's one there. I don't know if I've got batteries for it though. I think that's what I was saying. The batteries, uh, batteries are flat. I'll find out in a minute. Uh, I think that's about it. Bathrooms, of course. Yep, I'll do that one first because the toilet don't work. And then this one here. Um, there's the same again. Brand new toilet, 100 bucks. Tile to the ceiling. So that way, all these stupid problems you've got like this. You now all that crap that you, you think you can plaster up and fix all this shit. And like, look at the, like all these cracks in the walls. You got cracks on there. Like, cracks up down there. Let's see. And that'll be from where you chase the wall. See, so see that shit up there. Okay, you don't have to worry about any of that because we're just going to tie it right to the ceiling. No more. So I'll just make it flush straight again, just like the other one, straight up. So just tie it and boom, straight round onto the corners, make it look good. Just tie it right up. Okay, what I was going along with this, I think I to get a uh, way better way is glass this side here so the water doesn't splash out the door into the hallway and stuff. But I think to save money, just simply still again go a shower curtain, but coming in from this way instead, which is a lot more wiser, you know, because you might want to open up the curtain and then reach across and grab the bar of soap or something on, on the on the on the bench top up here. But you had to just go through to the shower, and, and, the, and if any water splashes, it splashes in, into the bathroom, not out to the freaking hallway. So why they went that way around, I don't really know. But that, that kind of sucks. I was thinking we could get rid of the hob altogether. So it's smooth across, glass shower like the, the window right to the floor. So it looks all neat and smooth and just, then just tape it off there in the shower curtain. Because you can get some really snazzy looking shower curtains these days. You get a nice chrome bar that goes across and they've got the big um, the chromey looking big rings and the, the concertina like a flop away and they do look pretty classy. You know, like that nice sort of um, milky sort of ivory colour to them. And that sort of stuff. Something that you can sort of wrap up a body in it and it catches all the blood, you know, once you, once you kill somebody, you think, oh, that's a good shower curtain, we could wrap up a body in that. Right, simple, that's same again, tiles through, make it 300, 300 by 300 is on the floor, 300 by 600 is on the wall, rectangular, straight up, and like, again, I can put a Lestello around in this one as well to make it look fancy, a bit like that, but, but we won't just stop there, we've got all around the room, through there, you know what I mean, they're all at the same height, and just make that complement the floor. In other words, whatever the floor tile is, I can actually use the floor tiles themselves and as I said, cut them into slices and I can just make my own Lestello and just make it, I mean, it's, it's pretty plain and simple, but it looks snazzy without going too far. You start, if you want to start buying proper fancy Lestellos or there's patterns like this, they start adding up and crossed. You can get boxes of tiles for 25 bucks a square metre and you can get Lestellos that are $25 each. You know, and you say, well, hang on, that's a 20, that's, I mean, that's a hundred dollar note, just those four tiles there, like, you know, 100, 200, 300, 400, it's only a thousand dollars worth of friggin' Lestello. Stuff that, just, just get that tile there and I'll make it myself. Buff it, um, cut them up on the wet saw, make a rain one, make it look, look snazzy. And uh, I, I think the mirror, though, I wouldn't want a little bit bigger one because it's very dark in here. I think that's a bit small. I think it's a bit cruel. I think it'd be better if, yeah, because it's so tiny to have it go across the, like the, the big mirror all the way across like, like that sort of thing to the shower. We be better because it'd be told everywhere else. And I would, would like the idea, if we could uh, get the camera to go, rather than just have this, because that really looks like a, you know, four, you know, one star flipping hotel or a motel down a highway sort of type shit, to have like a triangular um, top, something like that, or we just want to got a little chamfered, trying to that, that, and then a, um, you know what I mean, just on, on the on the diagonal, and just have just one simple little open door at the front, just keeps a few little bits and pieces underneath, because you've got nothing otherwise in here, in terms of keep, you know, keep your shampoos and shit like that, you get you got nowhere to put it, so if you had like something in the triangle in the corner, makes it still like um, sweet access, uh, getting into there, and you can yeah, so reaching out of the shower, you can still reach across and grab what you want just on the bench top there. So we don't need to maybe have to worry about having so much that cluttery, you know, shelving shit in, in, the, in the shower. You get where I'm coming from. Uh, anything else? Uh, kitchen down, wall, ceiling, balconies, one tile all the way through. We'll change these light fittings and that, just to put in the floor plugs, that's easy done. Just get a hold, you just buy one batch, you get a bulk box, just swap them out, throw the whole house. Do that last. Uh, and then recycle that. I think I get what you mean. Okay, it, 
there's a few bob to lay out, but for what it's gonna turn into, like for what it looks like now, and what it'll look like in the end, it'll blow you away. Like, they, they, here's the before shot. Click, click. And then uh, we'll, we'll get it, get it uh, I'm gonna get out of here because it's starting to get peak hour traffic. See you later, mate.